Tonight, the memo is squeezing its way through the numerous burdensome taxes. And speaking to the same, can we be real just for a bit? Are the proposals to have additional taxes, some described as punitive, realistic? The very ones whose mere thought has left many in distress. More so since they feel these proposals are likely to sail through and become law given that they have the president's blessing. Auditor General Nancy Gadungu has been quite firm as she cautions the powers that be against decisions that will only worsen the dire economic situation and make it more difficult for the government to meet its obligations. She has called out the authorities over the apparently unrealistic and inadequate revenue planning and forecasting. Kadungu adds that the Kenya Revenue Authority is struggling to meet the National Treasury's revenue targets, which the Auditor General has termed as, quote, over-ambitious. KRA has, in the first nine months of the current financial year, collected 1.6 trillion shillings which is about 81% of the 1.98 trillion shilling revenue target. The Auditor General has flagged the increased borrowing as a risk, pointing out that it will serve to escalate the public debt, which is another pain point in the country's financials. Now, in seeking to mitigate the pain, the government has proposed more taxes, which some will say is yet more pain through the proposed taxes in the Finance Bill 2024. These have not only already sparked public uproar, but have also been dismissed as punitive, even by various professionals across different industries, including finance and economy experts, as well as lawyers. One reservation that comes with these concerns is that in the past, last year for instance, while there was some adoption of the feedback from the public participation, the experts' advice on some key matters was swept aside and seemingly relegated to a bunch or entries in the public participation checklist. The Federation of Kenya Employers pointed out that some laws get gazetted without proper stakeholder engagement, pointing to an apparent pre-concluded decision and only inviting feedback as again a checklist item. Amid all the clamour for more revenue and lower expenditure, questions have naturally arisen over the government's financial discipline and prudence amid missed revenue targets. The calls for austerity in various occasions seem to be podium pronouncements without much follow through. While the downtrodden who are seeing more taxes in the horizon wonder if the leadership is numb, disconnected and aloof on their plight, their reality, their pain. And all these pains are worsened by the grim reality of less than desired and less than promised critical public services. So again, let's be real. Not just in painting the grim picture of our reality, many Kenyans live that reality. But let's be real with our economic measures, decisions and reliefs. That is the memo.